Some of you may have already started doing spring cleaning and for those who don't have any issue anymore or at all when it comes to clutter or even feng shui but still have a certain uneasy feeling at home, you might want to double check if you have any of the following 13 unlucky things that shouldn't be in your home. If you do and you're quite certain that the bad feeling is coming from those, then consider donating or selling or disposing them. This list is based on a combination of feng shui and old folk superstitions from around the world and it's up to your personal belief system if you believe in them or not. Number 1. Old Empty Furniture If they're still regularly used, it's okay to keep them. If they hold some sentimental value, double check if you can overhaul and reuse or repurpose them into something you can regularly use now such as transforming an old table into a bench for instance. If not, these are the things you must donate or sell immediately. Old empty furniture such as rocking chairs, crib, and cabinets that have been left and used especially for more than a decade may invite evil spirits into them and into your home. If the rocking chair rocks on its own even without any strong wind blowing, then a malicious spirit is already there and instead of donating or selling it, burn or get rid of it immediately. For baby crib, only put one in your home after a baby is born and never have it delivered in your home early. If you're keeping one for your next baby, consider dismantling it for now and keeping it in a safe place until your next baby is born. Doing so not only saves space, it can help prevent your son or daughter from having a suspicious unseen friend as well. For old empty cabinets, if you can't dismantle and repurpose them, especially the built-in ones, consider calling a priest to check and bless the room it's in in your home afterwards. For non-Christians, you may use the bell, gong, or sage instead to clear any unwanted spirits that may be lingering there. To be on the safer side, let some light regularly shine through it afterwards by hiring someone who can safely remove the cabinet doors and install more shelving units, so you can use it as an ordinary built-in bookshelf instead. Number 2. Broken Light Fixtures and Mirrors Though fixing broken items in general is highly encouraged, when it comes to light fixtures and mirrors, properly dispose them as soon as you can. Never attempt to fix them, else you won't only risk cutting yourself, any flickering lights and broken mirrors and glass invite bad spirits in them. Replace them with a new one as soon as you can. Number 3. Old Broom If you're moving in a new home, never bring an old and used broom. Aside from that being unhygienic since doing so may transfer dust and grime from wherever that broom was previously used, it is also considered bad luck since it transfers any residual negative energy it tried to sweep away from the old place and into your new home. Buy a brand new broom in your new home and make sure that you only sweep during daytime, never at night if possible, so you won't sweep away any good luck coming in. Number 4. Cobwebs Speaking of sweeping and brooms, make sure to clean your place regularly, especially the corner floors and ceilings. Sweep away any cobwebs because they promote stagnation since, like clutter, they block good energy or chi from freely flowing around your home. If your home is infested by spiders, uh, consider getting a pest exterminator. Though relatively harmless compared to cockroaches and mice, except if you have arachnophobia. Don't worry, I won't show any real-life spiders in this video since I don't like them too. They invite difficulties or entrapments in relationships, and if one crawls or falls near you, especially right in front of your face, be warned. A fight or emotional difficulty might happen or come soon. In some cultures, spiders are considered protection against psychic attack and curses, and if you feel comfortable or if you love them, then you might ignore this warning. But since spiders also represent an unbalanced female energy, especially the man-hating kind, it may throw off your own sense of balance and feel trapped or more prone to emotional outbursts. So you may choose to use other means of protection instead such as quartz crystals, a much cuter pet like a dog, or an animal familiar like a cat, or simply pray. Number 5. Negative Imagery or Artwork Displaying a painting or photograph depicting depression or insanity or even disasters like natural ones or man-made like shipwreck in the ocean or war is considered unlucky even in feng shui because doing so invites a similar kind of vibe and may bring distress or discord in your home. The same thing goes for displaying images depicting death such as taxidermy or weaponry. You don't have to totally get rid of them though, especially if they're part of your personal collection or family heirloom but you may relocate them to a special room that may also serve as a home-based gallery and give a special kind of 
reverence to them instead of simply putting them in a common or personal area in your home, such as the living room and bedroom, and disrupting your relationships and even your sleep. If you have the choice to avoid them, please do so and choose to display artworks that give off happy, positive vibes or a peaceful one instead to promote the same energy within your family. Number 6. Unmade Bed Though there's a certain study that leaving your bed unmade before you leave your home is better since it leaves your bed sheet and blanket to dry up any moisture it got while you sleep and minimizes risk of getting bed bugs and mites, a better option would be to open the curtains and let the morning sunlight dry your sheets up and still make your bed every morning. Leaving your bed unmade can psychologically affect you since it reinforces the same state in your mind. Doing so also leads to a poor night's sleep which may worsen over time until you tidy up your bed. There's a reason why making one's bed every morning along with other little things is also part of military training. It doesn't only cultivate self-discipline and gives a great feeling of accomplishment which sets the tone for the day, it is believed that if ever a day gets so filled with bad luck or misery, at least going home to a neat and clean bed can comfort you and give you a feeling that, hey, not everything is bad and hopeless. Just get a good night's sleep and try again the next day. But before you sleep though, double check this first. Number 7. Loose Wires and Tangled Cords it's kind of similar to the logic of having an unmade bed, but you need to be extra careful with this because loose wires and tangled cords are both safety hazards. Cover them up with a tape on the floor if they're running across areas in your home with lots of foot traffic, such as in between rooms and corridors to avoid anyone creeping on them. Also call an electrician as soon as you see loose dangling cords on the wall or when fixing an outlet. Never ever try to repair them on your own. Keep those wires organized and make sure that everyone in the family can easily figure out which wire belongs to which electronics or appliances so they don't have to untangle them every time they need to plug or unplug something. Doing so also makes it easier for everyone to determine if a certain extension cord or outlet is already overloaded to prevent any fire hazards. Number 8. Spiky Succulents since water is considered as health generating and not having to regularly water these plants is like preventing the energy of wealth to freely flow in your home. Keeping spiky succulents such as cactus and thorny acacia inside your home is considered both bad luck and bad feng shui. Similar to negative imagery mentioned earlier, their spikes may also promote quarrels and other unpleasant feeling within your family. You may choose to put them outside like in a garden if you have one or cultivate an aloe plant in front of your home instead. Aside from being able to use them to moisturize your skin and improve your hair, aloe plant is also believed to ward off negative energy from your home. Like the cactus, aloe plant is also very low maintenance and can withstand hot weather or dry spells. But if it rains more in your place, you may consider this next one on the list instead. Number 9. Open Umbrella Sometimes we just need to let our umbrellas open to let them dry before keeping them in our bag or putting them back to an umbrella stand. But in some cultures, opening an umbrella indoors is considered as unlucky. Not only doing so may block others from moving freely inside your home and can also make your floor slippery, making it an accident hazard. According to Norse traditions, opening an umbrella indoors is like inviting a storm or rain in your personal life, attracting emotional turmoil or unwanted drama, similar to the cobwebs and spiders mentioned earlier. Number 10. Shoes on the table. Never put shoes especially used ones on the table. Not only is this unhygienic, according to old mining's traditions, when a miner dies in a colliery accident for instance, his family places his shoes on the table as a sign of respect. If you do the same even if nobody died in your household, it's considered as inviting death to come and also tempting fate. Number 11. Broken Clocks. Similar to putting shoes on the table, keeping broken clocks, especially the grandfather kind, is also tempting fate and considered unlucky. Fix them or replace them immediately before they signal doom. It is believed that if a broken clock suddenly chimes unexpectedly, someone might get cursed or die in your family. Number 12. Objects with Unknown Origin if you've rummaged through a storage bin or attic and saw something which no one in your family knows where it came from, either dispose or have it appraised and sell that thing as soon as you can. When buying antique figurines or furniture, for instance, always make sure that you fully know their history or else you might be keeping something with a spirit attached in it which may eventually haunt your home. 
To be safe, get someone to build a customized furniture or decor for you and only buy from reputable shops or trusted previous owner if buying secondhand items. And lastly, number 13, moths. In some cultures, they believe that a large moth entering your home is a deceased relative visiting you. It's up to you whether you see that as good or bad. However, if someone in your family is ill for some time, like a week or so, seeing a large moth is considered a bad omen and whoever's ill might die soon. Ensure that the sick family member is well taken care for and have a second opinion with another doctor. Also, just shoo that large moth away. Regarding smaller moths, they're actually considered as pests since the ones found in your kitchen signals that you have rotten or spoiled food nearby, while the ones found in your closet and laundry area are the ones responsible to those annoying little holes in your clothes. Take out the trash regularly and consider using lavender or mint essential oils that highly repel moths and other insects. So, has any of you have a personal experience regarding keeping one or more of these things in your home? Whether good or bad, share your story down in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, hope it earns a thumbs up, and if you're new in this channel, kindly consider subscribing. We upload a new video every week or so, and if you don't want to miss an upload, you may also click that notification bell icon. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.